Today, we're going to be talking about the Abu Garcia Veritas. Now, this is a rod that when I was younger, back in high school and middle school, I biked to all my local ponds and caught tons of fish. Uh, those of you that follow the channel since that long, long time ago know that this was a rod that I used a lot during that time. Caught a lot of fish. It stayed one of my favorite bass fishing rods of all time. Now, this model right here is the older model. They also have a new model that is out and looks a lot different uh, down in the handle area of the rod. So we're going to talk about whether this rod is still worth it or not. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So to start this off here, I'm going to go over the specs on this rod real quick. Now, this one right here is the VRT S66-6. And this one right here is a six foot, six inch, medium heavy power. Uh, it just has an extra fast action. The lure weight is a uh, one quarter to three quarter ounce. The line weight is eight to 14 pounds. It is a one piece rod. It has eight with tip guides and the MSRP is coming in at 80 to a hundred dollars. Now, as far as versatility goes with this rod, this is primarily just a bass fishing rod. I mean, I wouldn't be doing any trout and other stuff with this. Um, the one I have right here, obviously this is a 6'6", medium heavy. So this is a pretty stiff rod. Um, this was one of the ones that I used when I was younger. I was throwing, you know, when I where I lived in California, a lot of my ponds had thick, you know, heavy vegetation. And at that point in time, I hadn't really used bait casters a lot yet. So I was throwing, you know, Sankos, frogs, like I was doing things that spinning reels aren't really supposed to do you know fishing in that super thick thick weeds and 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 lily pads and grass and tulies and all that stuff so this rod was beat to heck out there on the water um, but the 6.6 medium heavy worked great for that They've also got a ton of other ones. They've got like some seven foot mediums, you know, more of your, your average spinning rod setup, right? If you're fishing drop shots, maybe light Senkos, light swim baits, stuff like that. That seven foot medium is going to be a little bit better for you on that. But yeah, they got a whole bunch of different models uh, to choose, you know, what type of, of application you're using. Now, as for the looks on these rods, uh, this was kind of the, my first rod I got that kind of had some, some color, some uniqueness to it. Um, you know, I really love the all white rod. Uh, the only rod really that sticks out to me other than this for like all white would be like the Johnny Morris carbon lights those ones are pretty much all white as well um, those are kind of the the two that I can think of right off the bat that have that real white color on them uh, maybe the Ducket ghost in there as well but yeah, the Veritas has pretty much got all that white rod uh, with a little bit of a black handle here. Now, the new model looks a lot different in terms of the looks down here. Uh, it does not have this big, thick ring right here. So if you notice, you can probably hear that clicking down there. That clicking is what basically moves down to hold the reel in to the, you know, to the reel seat. I'm not a big fan of this setup right here. Obviously, when I was younger, I wasn't as picky about these things. I was just happy to have a good a good bass fishing rod. So uh, I will say the newer ones, they fixed that and they made it a much easier, more traditional style uh, handle reel locker there. Um, and it's much more comfortable. Now, the one thing about the new ones I have heard some complaints about is the cork down here is also white and that white cork can get dirty and it can be kind of tricky to clean as well. So that's something to think about. If you don't really care about that type of stuff, then it's no issue. But the new one is a little bit different from the old one. And I think most of it is is, is large improvements but whether whether you get that one or you can find the old one used somewhere they're both incredible now as for durability goes uh the old one i only broke once and i actually was i was biking to a pond i hit a root <laughs> on the trail where i was at and i actually fell i literally went over the handlebars and so of course the rod just snapped in two i mean any rod at that point would have snapped in two other than that, I never broke any other of my Veritas rods. And I mean, like I said, I fished really hard crap. Like I was fishing heavy weeds, tulies. I mean, just like those, those Northern California ponds that just have tons of thick vegetation out there. So yeah, I beat the heck out of these rods and had no problems. I know some other people did have some problems with the old model breaking, but I personally never did. And I also heard that the new ones are even better and more durable than the old ones. So if it was even an issue before, I think it's now been completely fixed. Um, but durability, I've had no problems. And if the new ones are even better than this one, I'm pretty excited about that. Now, as for feel goes, this rod, it does not feel it's, it's, it's one of those 
that doesn't feel like its price range, if that makes sense. Like this rod feels more like a $150 rod, something of a bit nicer than what it actually is. Uh, these rods are incredible, incredible feel, especially if you do decide to get a one piece rod, which for a lot of my bass fishing rods, I do like one piece just because they are much more sensitive. Um, yeah, the one piece rod here, I can feel so many bites with this thing. And not to mention the fact that it still is like a six, six medium heavy. That's a pretty thick rod. And the fact that you can still feel bites on this is awesome. So sensitivity is a huge plus on this as well. It's also very well balanced in your hand. Uh, like I said, if I was fishing this all day, I was biking from pond to pond. I mean, I would go like I'd pack a sandwich, a granola bar, a water and one box of lures. And I am just biking from pond to pond to pond to pond from sun up to sundown. And obviously I was fishing this rod all day and I never really got tired or anything the rod was just really nice and easy to use all day. These reels also cast uh, really well. I love the casting abilities on these. And uh, for instance, this one and majority of the ones in the lineup, they're going to pair up real good with a 2500 size reel uh, somewhere in there, maybe like a Sedona or a Sahara or something along those lines. You know, that would be a really, really great little setup to match this up with. Now, as for price goes, I did say 80 to $100 in my specs portion of this. However, it really is anywhere from like 80 to 110, 120. Um, sometimes this rod is a little bit more expensive, but from what I have noticed, they've been running a lot of sales on these rods lately. At the time of filming this, I believe Tackle Warehouse has it for like $80, which is an absolute steal for this rod. Um, so I would check, maybe check there. I also have Amazon links below. Uh, you guys can check there and see if the price is around that area too. But yeah, the uh, anywhere in that that price range is going to be fine. Honestly, if you whether you get it for 80 or 110, it's still the bang for your buck on this rod is incredible. This was kind of my first like decent bass fishing setup. Uh, I had this paired with the Fluger President reel on the bottom and then I put on I think it was like some some 30 pound braid or something along those lines. And that setup for me was incredible. That was like my first that was when I was kind of more really getting into bass fishing. That was my first decent setup besides like old garage sale setups that I bought, you know, for five dollars or whatever. So this was my first setup. I kind of I kind of had to take care of a little more and it really it, it upped my level of bass fishing for sure. I threw pretty much every lure on this rod just because I didn't really know the difference between all that stuff. So for those of you that are kind of getting into bass fishing and want to to start and get a really nice setup, getting a seven foot medium or medium heavy Veritas and then pairing it up with a Fluger President, Shimano Sedona, Shimano Sahara, something along those lines, Akuma Kaimar, that would be an incredible setup and you're going to be around 150 bucks, which is for bass fishing, that is very, very cheap, <laughs> very cheap. So let's go over the pros and cons of this rod here real quick. So as for pros, right? Number one price. This is a super uh, reliable bang for your buck rod, especially for that 80 to $100 price range, right? This is also a very durable rod. This can hold up to a lot of crap, uh, a lot of abuse, which is really nice. It's also for being as durable as it is, it's very sensitive rod. You can still feel a lot of those smaller bites and it feels great in your hand all day. And also I love the white rod. I think the white rod looks awesome and it pairs up really well with a lot of other 2500 size reels. Now, as for cons, like I said, the new rod, uh, there's been some complaints that the handle, the white handle can get dirty really quick and it can be a little bit hard to, you know, to to clean basically, right? And then obviously the older ones have that little screw locking handle that, that twists and that's kind of weird. However, they did fix that in the new one. So that's something you won't really have to worry about. I'm giving this a humble rating of nine out of 10. I think this is an absolutely incredible bang for your buck rod. I think it covers a lot of different scenarios in the fishing industry or the fishing world, right? And I think this is an incredible rod for those of you that are wanting to up your bass fishing game a little bit, get something a little bit nicer to give yourself an edge on the water. I think this is a phenomenal option for that. If you guys want to see two reels that would go phenomenal with this rod, I will put them right up here for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it and if there's a product you guys want to see me do next, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time on Humbug Videos.